what we've been working on in the last year. Uh, we got people from from first, people from Lego in Denmark. We've been working all year for this, and we're super excited to show you guys. Are you guys ready? Thank you for joining us live. Leave us some love, leave us some likes, tell us what you think it's going to be. And are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Okay, great. Let's do this then. My name is Marijn. I'm from Lego Education in Denmark, and I'm super excited to see so many of you here today. You came up, you showed up in large numbers last year, but it looks like you're even more this time, so that's fantastic. We have worked with a, with a team of great people very hard for almost two years on the materials we're going to show you today, and we're super excited about it. As Lee just explained to the audience online, welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're going to show you some really exciting materials for the 2019-2020 First Lego League Junior and First Lego League season. And we're very excited about that. Another thing that you will see here around us is that we have the fantastic new launch of LEGO Education Spike Prime. And we're very excited to show you how that will be integrated in the first LEGO League experience. And how that will really add to the experience for teams around the world alongside LEGO Mindstorms, where you're all experts in, as we know. So we're super excited about that. And I'm going to pass on the work to my friend Kim here. Hi, everybody. I'm Kim Wehrman. I'm the director of First Lego League Junior and First Lego League. Hey, a lot of friendly faces out here. I am so excited for the reveal of the 2019-2020 season. One thing I want you all to remember, today we're just going to be seeing what the, what the challenges, uh, we're going to be seeing what the models look like and the field, but none of the details of the challenge are available until August 1st. That's 12 noon Eastern time, August 1st. That's when you're going to get everything you need to know about the, about the challenge. For those of you who are online, don't worry, we're going to have lots of pictures on our social channels, the official first and Lego education social media, and we'll have hashtags for you too. So all of you today, as you're taking pictures, I see more cameras, I, I'm having a feeling you're not taking pictures of me, but of the field, I want you to share this with all of your social networks and put the hashtags. We want you to comment online um, on any of the channels that you're watching on. We want your feedback and see what you think about it. Before we get started, we have some very important people to thank our global sponsors for First Lego League. They have made this possible for us, along with all the team that builds and designs the challenge every year. So we'd like to thank 3M, NI, Rockwell Automation, and of course, Lego Education. And super excited, this is the first year that we've got John Deere joining us as a global sponsor of First Lego League. And in a few minutes, you're gonna see why they might be interested in this challenge. So remember, if you see them around, a lot of their employees are working as mentors in our high school programs. Make sure you thank them and thank them for what they're doing for First Lego League. So I'm going to introduce you. We've got all these people who are going to help us unveil. We've got, of course, you've met Lee McPeely, Lego designer. We've got another Lego designer, Rock Kobe, and you're going to see why he's part of this challenge um, that we've never had other Lego designers working on with us like this. And then we've got Dana Acoin. And she is first Lego, uh, first education implementation specialist, not just first Lego League, but for all of first. So we're excited to have her here. And if you're a teacher or a coach, you're going to be really interested in talking to her about the materials that we have now. Um, and then Anderson's helping us also from Lego Education. So welcome. So all right. One comment. If you're in the back and you have difficulty seeing things right now, no worries, because in the next couple of days you have plenty of opportunities to come here, take as many photos and videos as you want. You can ask things to the people here at the booth. That will also be the same case for the people coming to Detroit. And if you're watching online, we will share the same information that we give to everyone here on site, also through the Lego Education and First Social Channel straight after this, this reveal. So um, that's super exciting. So no worries if you're standing at the back. You will get plenty of opportunities to, to have a close look here. Back All to right. you, Kim. Are we ready? So I think we need to practice. This is something that you've done. We're going to do the three, two, one Lego. You guys have done that before at the beginning of every single robot round for like a million of them this season. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready, guys? Are we ready? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if, I don't know if I don't they're know. ready. All right. I'm, I'm ready. All right. Are we ready? Okay. All right. Does that look awesome, guys? What do you think of this? Can we get a round of applause? And don't forget to take a look at the first Lego Lake Junior set. It's out here, too. Okay. There we go. Yes. 
little connection here between the two. There's something very exciting we have to show to you today because it's not just the materials of the first Lego League City Shaper season and the first Lego League Junior Boomtown Build season, but it's also something we are, that we have never done before. Because as part of the introduction of the new LEGO Education Spike Prime, we're actually for the first time this season going to show you how one mission is being solved. And we're doing that in a very cool way, so I'm giving the mic here to our master builder, Lee McPilly. What are you showing us here today? What do you got in front of us? So we've got the Spike Prime uh, set with the expansion set. And uh, we're going to show you how to get forward, get ready. We're going to build your confidence a little bit, show you that the, these missions aren't impossible. So we, we're ready to go. This sounds amazing. Let's do it, guys. What do you think? Three, two, one. Lego! That was a very, very nicely executed mission right there. Thank you so much, guys. Back to you, Kim. So really important to notice here, we also have the... EV3, and we're going to solve the same mission using the EV3. So whatever set you have, you're going to be equally as competitive this upcoming season. You're going to show that? All right. The important role of tape setter. And no worries again if you're standing in the back. Over the course of the next couple of days, and also in Detroit, we will show this as much as you want. So that's exciting that we actually now have seen how one of the missions is being solved. But keep in mind that all the other mission details and challenge details are first coming on August 1st, as like, you, like we used to do. So, um, so that's going to be very excited. Back to you, Kim. We have a few people to, uh, to introduce to you in a bit more, in a bit more detail. Yeah, so Lee, we want to ask you some questions. What do you think is um, one of the, the coolest things about this challenge? You've done this for many, many years. What about this particular challenge is especially cool? So this year we, we really fought for getting a line coming right out of base for all you guys using the, the line following programs. And uh, something I'm super, super excited is going to be the variety of solutions that you guys are all going to come with. Come with. I think every time the field is sent, it's going to be a different field, and that's going to be really awesome. Yeah, and, and would you emphasize again for us, what, it, what about if I've got EV3 and Spike Prime's brand new, it might be, you know, I might not get it as fast, I might already have a lot of, what, what do you think um, about having the two different uh, sets, the two different products to use? I think they're two awesome opportunities for, for all the users. They're going to be both on different levels. They're, they're, they're both going to be equal in terms of difficulty in doing all the missions. It's going to be up to you guys how many hours you practice, how much time you put into it. It would be great if you didn't try Spike Prime with all the cool new elements, but we know that in EV3 there's a, there's a lot of support out there in uh, helping you guys solve missions. Great. Thank you so much, guys. That was very interesting. Then I'm going to take you to this special guest we have here today because he just got introduced as a LEGO designer. But he's not just a Lego designer, he's a Lego architecture designer. And that is one of the reasons that he was part of the expert panel that we came together with like around two years ago when we started the development of this season. He was part of, a, of a, um, an expert panel with several architects, engineers, people with different uh, backgrounds in, in, in city planning and architecture. And he was, of course, a very valuable source in that, in that panel. So I'm going to ask him a few questions. Rock, thank you so much for coming. What do you remember from this, from being a member of this expert panel? And uh, yeah, what can you share about the process that we went through? So two years ago in New Hampshire, in Manchester, in the headquarters of FIRST, a bunch of us came together with a diverse background of different disciplines, like you mentioned, urban planning, architecture, civil engineering, uh, automation in architecture, transportation infrastructure, disaster mitigation all with the mission to inspire Lee and the education designers so that can come up with a great game that structures on this year theme that deals with city with architecture so 
That sounds amazing. And, and this is the first time that we, that we see the whole piece come together. Like, what are your first thoughts? Like, do you recognize the different elements that came to the forefront during this, th those panel discussions? Yeah, definitely. Like, the architecture itself is the creation of enclosed and open spaces uh, to fulfill people's practical and expressive needs. So, thereby combines art, science, and technology. And what we're really starting so we have architecture, urban design, landscape architecture, civil engineering, ecology and technology, all combining into this fluid hybrid form of collaborating, thereby creating new, better places for us to live. That sounds super interesting. Thank you so much. I have another question for you. A lot of people here are probably really excited about your job, like being a Lego architecture designer, that must be really cool, right? So how do you feel like, like your work, like your work processes relate to something that the students will go through during this exciting new season? Yeah, I'm very proud to be able to inspire and develop the builders of tomorrow through Lego as well. And just as in real architecture, we have to follow certain things in Lego as well. Like a building has to stand up, it has to survive an earthquake. Just as the, a Lego set must be able to be strong enough that you can pick it up, turn it around, take a look at it. So a building must also fulfill its function, that is its purpose. While a Lego building, its purpose is to provide an exciting, fun, challenging building experience. And at the end of the day, a building should be beautiful, it should raise our spirits. And the same way a Lego architecture set is doing just that. So. That's really great, and I think that everyone here is going to be super excited to participate in this in this season. I'm going to pass the mic back to uh, to Kim again. Thanks, Marijn. I'm here with Dana. Remember, she's our education and implementation specialist. And Dana, can you tell us a little bit about um, some of the new and exciting things that are happening with the first Lego League Challenge this year? Things we've never done before. Yes, Kim. So this year we taken a page out of our first Lego League Junior program. And as you all know that we've had the team meeting guide and engineering notebooks for that program. We are now introducing that with our first Lego League program as well. So for the coaches and the teachers out there, we have a 12 session team meeting guide that you will get with your registration. In addition, all the students are gonna get engineering notebooks that they'll be able to record and put all of their ideas on paper and share when they go to their tournaments. That's awesome, a real engineering notebook, like a real engineer. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the, you work um, really closely with the content development team. Um, can you tell us a little bit about kind of the connection, other connections that people may notice about the First Lego League Junior and First Lego League? So you'll notice, once again, like in our past couple years, our City Shaper and our junior program, Boomtown Build, has a similar model in both of the programs. So we have the Crane Mission, which is what we saw the robots performing, and we have a similar Crane Mission with our junior model. So we're tying the two programs closely together once again. Awesome. Well, I think we've just about given you guys um, as much of an overview as you can stand by not getting up close. Now, remember, you can't touch anything, but it is going to be here to look at for everybody online. We're going to have up close professional photos that you'll be able to get just as good of a view of the, the mats, the, the missions, or, the, or the, the models. August 1st, you'll get the details on the challenge and the mission. So August 1st at 12 noon Eastern time. So I think, we're, I think we've got it. Everybody excited? About it? You like it? You like it? You like you think this is gonna be a good year? I think it's gonna be the best year. All right, thank you so much for coming. We would love to hear your thoughts. We're gonna put a few hashtags on the screen shortly of the, the season name City Shaper and Boomtown Build. So let us know on the social channels what you think of this. Rock, the Lego architecture designer, will be present at the Lego Education booth here for the next couple of days and also at the cool white brick building area around uh, in the lobby. So um, that's gonna be very exciting. All and right. um, feel free to reach out with questions. Thank you so much. Good luck during the fantastic event you're here today. And um, we really hope to see you next year. Thank you so much, everyone.